All right, peace. This is Brother Hot Tim coming at you live and di- well, not live and direct. This is a podcast, but we'll get more into just doing podcasts. I'm going to be doing a few um, live shows, and um, they're going to start dwindling until, one, I start building up more of an audience, and two, well, I mean, I got a small audience, but I'm going to keep on doing live shows. But for a while, um, I'm going to start doing a lot of pre um Broadcast. I'm gonna start uh, um, recording some of the um, podcasts because I'm coming out with a new show called The Line. The Line. Be on the lookout for it. And this basically is a show that's gonna be geared around the listener. I want listeners to be able to call in and discuss what's on their mind. And uh, no, no set agenda. If the conversation is good enough. For me to post it up on, um, on on the site, I'm gonna post it up um, for for the world to hear. You know what I'm saying? So if you have anything on your chest, if you have anything you want to talk about, if you want some advice, if you want to give some advice, if you want to do some commentary, you know what I'm saying? Just let me know. You can hit me up at hotim at giamijourney.com, or you could just call directly into the number. I don't have a number on me right now, but I will post it up with this um with this podcast so that those that'll be interested in doing something you could just call in and if i pick up you could just start letting it go you can let me know exactly what you want to do and then we can start then then we can start the recording all right and the show is for the people i don't care you know what i don't care what your message is if you want to share because everybody don't got time to do a podcast but every now and then people be having thoughts on their mind they might want to share it up on YouTube, but they might not want to do it. They might want to do it with somebody who might who, who, who might be a little bit more focused on trying to get it heard. So hit Brother Hot Tim up um, for the, uh, um, the new show, The Line. Um, feel free to call in at any time. I don't know, you know, sometime I won't be able to pick up because I'm still working. Um, but if the show is successful, then eventually I can just focus on giving you the space where you can share your opinions now um if you call in by yourself you can arrange for groups to call in i don't care you know what i'm saying the piece is i'm just gonna be the moderator sometime i'm gonna be the uh, devil's advocate sometime i'm gonna be the supporter the motivator the inspirer to help help you get the words out that you want to get out all right share your music share whatever you want you know do your thing now on to what i wanted to talk about today <clears throat> as everybody all as everybody has heard on um i think wednesday night um there was a shooting in and in, i think it was in north carolina by this little white boy his na- last name his name is dylan roof i think dylan roof he went in and he shot nine people, six women, three men. And I've been hearing about this over and over again. Now, um, this is the point that I want to hit, you know, because, of course, everybody got their own opinion on it. This is Brother Hot Tim's opinion on it. Now, first off, uh, it's kind of a shame that the police got to him first. You know what I'm saying? This, for me, is a signal that black man, we got to start stepping it up because when stuff like this happen, regardless of whether it's a white boy shooting or a black boy shooting or a white woman or a black woman or an Asian coming in and violating our, uh, our, our areas, we need to make sure there's a, a, a strong statement that go out that this shit will not be tolerated. If we ain't do nothing but if we were the ones to have apprehended him and turned him into the police, that should have happened. <clears throat> Next, um, uh, I, after listening to the last couple of days and understanding the history of the church and the name of the church, because it was an AME church, African Methodist Episcopal Church, one of the oldest churches, one of the oldest black churches, if not the oldest in <clears throat> the United States, with revolutionary roots. I'm thinking that the white boy did some research and knew exactly where he was hitting because he had to know 
where uh, he had to he had to know where the church was. He had to know when the study groups were because he wasn't he wasn't part of the church. So he did some research on this. He went into the church and he murdered these people. And the message that he let the left the survivors with let you know that he had an agenda. And he left them alive, I quote, to let them spread the message of what he did. Um, it was stated that he was killing black people. He was killing black people because they are ruining the country. They're raping their women. They're raping white women. And, and they're taking over. Now, for me... Part of the problem is that America has never addressed the underlying issue that America has been oppressing black people for a long time. Now, I know in, 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 in certain instances, we have been complying as African-Americans, as Africans in America, as black people, we have been compliant with the oppression. But in our history, when we discuss history with our youth, when we really sit down and talk with history of this country with our youth, we cover over our dirt. So people are able to take a wrong, they're able to get a wrong view of history. Now this white boy obviously didn't really, don't really understand history and don't really understand the history, the true history of America. You know what I'm saying? For him to go up in here and do this and and say that those was in a sense his last words his last words is a free man you know what i'm saying which shows that he has no true understanding of american history and all i'm saying is if we were honest from jump with our children about what happened with america what happened in america if we were truthful with um are you if we was truthful with all of them about how america was built how america is stolen land, how it was stolen from the Native Americans, and how um, um, America um, built this economy on the blacks, on the backs of, of black individuals that were kidnapped and sold into slavery. You know what I'm saying? And how this country's whole come up was on oppression, stealing, and rape. If we was honest about this and had conversations about this in front of our children, so that healing could take place, I think that incidents like this would never happen. You know what I'm saying? We're still hiding on the myth. We're still hiding behind the false narrative of America, the home of the free and land of the brave. No, it's the home of the it's the home of the thief and the land of the slave. You understand what I'm saying? And, and until we address that issue. We always gonna have these 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 hate groups rising up because you're gonna have one side of hate group rising up saying we need to defend America. These niggas and these Native American, these engines, and everybody else is coming in trying to take this shit from us. Right? Because they got a twisted narrative. And then you got another group who's upset because their narrative is not being told. And when it's told, it's told incorrectly, and they're rising up. And they are liable to produce some crazies. You know, you got individuals that are upset with America. So you got two in two two groups of individuals that if we were to sit down and be honest about where we are as a country, why we are as a country, you know what I'm saying? And and, and how where we are and how we are as a country all came from how this country was started, then we will be able to dissolve both these groups. But as long as we're hiding behind false narratives, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have people rising up. This young boy projected, I mean, because really, you got to look at this. This young boy projected uh, the racism, racism from the group that he's part of onto other people, onto black people. You know what I'm saying? Because when, we, when you really look at it, what he said that black people are doing, Europeans have already done it. And done it to a point to where now they are running the world. But because his history is twisted, because it's, because the, the, the amount of history he got 
is from some crackhead or or some crack pot on the internet who is just giving him pieces and bits of American history up in you know what I'm saying the the the, the great values of Americanism and, and not really looking at the downside you know what I'm saying so we're gonna have stuff like this happen in America on both sides of the spectrum on the white side on the black side on the Hispanic side on the Latin side on, on, on the Native American side, on the Asian side, we are a melting, you know, they call it a melting pot. One of, one of my elders once, one, once said it should, we should call it more of a salad. We are a salad of different groups. And until a true narrative of how America became what it is, is told and, 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 and wrongs are righted, we always going to have fools that's going to be able to rise up, um, ring themselves up and feeding themselves up on a false narrative that makes them think that they have the right to do dumb shit. Um, but this is Brother Hot Tim. I just wanted to, to throw that out. And um, I think I might do a show on Denmark Vesper because he was the founder of the church. And I'm pretty sure that this white boy did some research. He... He wanted to make a statement. This was this was a a, a nine one one attack. I mean, I mean, all the stuff lines up. This was like a nine one nine one one attack on African Americans. And not only should African Americans be aware and understand the implications of this assault, of this attack, of this terrorist act. All of America need to be aware of it and stop sweeping bullshit up under the up under the rug. Stop coming out with these false narratives like because I'm hearing people talk about, well, it wasn't about race. It was about religion. What in the where? I mean, I mean, do they just make this shit up? I mean, so, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I, it, it's boggling my mind. We heard what the witnesses said. This man said. We heard what the man said himself. But yet you still got commentators coming out trying to redirect, trying to retell it once again, trying to create a fucked up narrative that's going to fuck up other people. Now it's about religion. I mean, if it's about religion, I'm quite sure there was churches closer to him. Hell, he could, if it was about religion, there's some large white churches in the part of uh, the Carolinas where he lived. He could have went in and shot them. No, he drove up to a historically black church, one of the oldest churches in America, with revolutionary roots, and shot him up. Now, you tell me what that's about. And until we start telling the truth in America, we are going to slowly devolve into a state of chaos, I predict. You know what I'm saying? We're not telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and the universe conspires, conspires to make incidents happen and, um, for the truth to come out. Because when we face the truth, we will find the seeds of our greatness. We will find the roots of our greatness as a nation, man. I mean, we're sitting in, at, a, at the most opportune time in the history of mankind man and womankind and we are on the brink of either destroying ourselves or making this world into a heaven the only question we got to answer is are we willing to do what it takes to move to the next level and part of that is being honest and being honest and being honest so that we could tell our children about the horrors of American history. So that our children will be able to work together, regardless of whether what color or what race or, or what belief they are, so that they could work together to make this a place where nothing like that will ever happen again. That sound like the true idea of democracy to me. But maybe that that's not what we want. But this is Brother Hot Tim. <clears throat> Um, um, my break is over. I'm about to go back to work and I'm out.
class is over. You are now listening to Black Gary Radio. Too black? Too strong?